Hello everyone, it's Lars from Unicorn Reviews here. Today I'm going to show you guys around the Cooler Master Hyper T4 CPU cooler. It's a 25 euro CPU cooler, but with relatively good performance for its price. First, I'm going to find something here um, to get the box open with. I should have thought about that a bit earlier, but yeah, whatever, right? So, how does this box work? I hate these boxes. It's like the company doesn't want you to use their product. It's just, they make it so ridiculously hard to just get these boxes open. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to tell you guys a bit about it. So it's a single tower, single 120 millimeter fan. Um, it's compatible. That was the one I was looking for in my other video. Uh, compatible with um, pretty much every socket on the market right now. I don't know if they actually say it. So it's 152.3 millimeters high. Come on, focus. There we go. At 131.6 wide. So it comes with um, four heat pipes and you know, just a single fan. There we go. Com the spec list. So pause the video and you can read all that stuff. Um, so let's see what's inside the box. Uh, it comes with two little instruction booklets. The thing is so easy to mount you're not going to need that. The cooler itself and an accessory box. So uh, I'm just going to start off with the accessories. I mean, I don't know why, but it just seems like everyone on the internet does the accessory box first. So let's see. It comes with LGA 2011 uh, special screws. Thermal paste in a little bag that you like, you tear open like cheap ketchup, something like that. The back plate, which that's a pretty cool system. It actually just slides and you don't have to put pins through anything. So you just slide it at the right length, push it through the motherboard and then um, you screw these guys. So right, so this goes through the motherboard and then these guys screw onto there and then you screw the cooler plates which are um, these guys, you screw that onto those thingies and then this goes over the, is a bridge that goes through the CPU cooler and just holds everything in place. Um, you also get um, brackets to hold an additional, uh, to get a second fan really, should you desire one. Um, by the way, if you're gonna look at buying an extra fan for it, why not go with a cooling creator or something? Makes more sense to me. So here's the actual unit itself. Yeah, my lighting is um, pretty bad today. So it's a rather, this is one big hand, so I got rather big hands, but if you need a size comparison, it's not very thick. Or very tall, so it's a cool little cooler. Plastic is still on here, so you guys aren't gonna whine about me. Just uh, it also comes with a four pin, so you got PWM. These are these brackets that it comes with, and then you can, as you can see here, screw the fan into the bracket, clip the bracket onto the fan. Um, they're see-through smoked uh, blades on the fans, but we're gonna install it in a system and see how loud it is, how well it cools. And yeah, I'm going to do that right now and then I'll be back to you guys. Alright guys, it's review time for the Cooler Master Hyper T4. Now, it's pretty hard to see it behind my giant graphics card here. But right here is our little cooler. And well, let's just have a look at temperature, shall we? Uh, how, no, first I'm going to tell you a bit about it. Um, at the moment the system is running maxed out. Uh, there's no thermal throttling going on. That's pretty cool. So we got a, uh, a 4,570 non-overclockable GPU in, uh, CPU in here, which I think is what a cooler like this is targeted at. You know, you don't want a giant cooler on a non-overclockable uh, thing. Plus, it's really, really silent. They say it's really silent on the box as well. And you know, the guys at Cooler Master are right in that. I cannot hear it. The only thing I can hear is just um, turbulent noise from the case fans. 
which you know they have to suck in air and push it through all this mesh which is what makes a lot of noise so other parts in the case are pretty much inaudible so that's all very very good um, anyway I'm just gonna run limp pack for a, a tiny bit longer before I actually come to any conclusions as you can see it right there uh, what we have here is limp pack running using 90% of our memory and 100% of our CPU and we can just see the temperatures here um, there's only what, 4 degrees 5 degrees difference between our core so that's looks pretty good I mean this is typical Intel with one core running way hotter than the others AMD doesn't have those type of things but as you can see we're constantly running at our max um, turbo so we're not thermal throttling at all here and at the moment hottest something has gotten was 62 degrees so I'm just gonna leave it running for I don't know half an hour and then I'll be back to you guys alright guys terribly sorry for being so impatient but I don't really have a lot of time um, to do full and complete testing on it but what I can tell you guys is that in this room it's 21 degrees Celsius uh, the hottest a core has gotten is 63 degrees Celsius so that's a 42 degree delta temperature on an 85 TDP uh, what CPU so the cooler itself is 25 euros so I think that's really good um, therefore I'm also gonna give it a gold award because it's only 25 euros it's the perfect cooler for a non overclockable chip really so that's pretty you know they got that spot on plus it's really easy to mount um, and it also comes with an extra fan bracket which even expensive high-end CPU coolers sometimes do not have those extra brackets should you want to do push-pull on the, the heatsink so therefore I'm gonna give the Cooler Master Hyper T4 a gold award um, if you got any questions feel free to ask them in the comment area uh, also feel free to like this video and to subscribe to the channel and yeah thank you very much for watching the video